Well, good morning. This is another day in the Twisted Nut Wood Shop, and I'm here at the drill press to uh, do a follow up video on the drill bit sharpening jig I showed uh, in a video yesterday. And what I wanted to do was to demonstrate um, the effectiveness of uh, of the of the sharpening jig um, with a piece of steel here. It's a uh, eighth inch angle. I've got the drill press um, RPMs turned down to 430. Whenever you're drilling steel, you want to use a slow speed, and the uh, thicker the steel, even a slower speed. With this case, um, eighth inch steel, 430 is is uh, good. And you always want to have some kind of a fence or at least a clamp situation where you're clamping the metal down. Uh, believe me, when uh, even at a low RPM, when if the metal flies apart or flies around and or travels up the drill bit, uh, you could get hurt. So you always want to clamp it or at least have some kind of a stop, which which I have here. This drill bit is. Uh, 2364 and this edge right here there's a ding in it a pretty nice one and then over here this one this flute is not bad uh, so what I'm going to do is drill a hole first with this bit so I'm going to chuck it in the lathe, or lathe drill press you always want to do all three of your clamping or uh, vice holes because there's three chucks in the <laughs> in the chuck there's three jaws that you always want to make sure that you've got tight you never just want to do one and walk away and think you're going to be good um, so here we go start the drill press and watch the chips as they come out and that's not bad. That's that's pretty good, even with the with the um, nasty edge that we showed you just a second ago. But take a look right there. The most of the time, when you drill metal, you're you're always going to have some kind of a nasty little uh, outcoming of the metal where it's ragged and jagged and nasty. So I'm going to take the bit out. I'm going to go over to the uh, jig, which is right around the back side of this wall, and I'll be back in just a moment. You'll hear the machine start up. Okay, I'm back. Now, whoops, dang it. Okay, I'm back and tripped over the tripod. And you can see the drill bit is got uh, a fresh shiny edge on both the flutes. The big nasty ding is gone. And we'll chuck it back in the drill press. Again, you want to make sure you do every one of them. And also notice down here, there's no uh, backer. It's it's deeper here than it is out here um, because of various drill bits. So I'm going to take the same piece of steel and um, don't pay any attention to this hole that was done previously. So we're going to start right there. And again, we're going to start the drill press up. You always want to hold on to it, your stock. 
and notice how the metal is twirling up and curling and the chips are the, about the same size and if I knock out this the remnant here you notice that the bottom this little uh, doodad that came out of there if you notice the bottom of it is nice and flat whereas the one I just drilled previously is rough it's got um, tails, uh, feathers, whatever you want to call it. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there it is. And there's the hole I just drilled, and it doesn't exhibit any of that. So, um, and then here's the shavings that come out. They're twirly, um, curly, and uh, again nothing changed I didn't do anything different here so you can see how the sharpening of the drill bit on that jig uh, or any uh, drill bit for that matter uh, makes a big difference and there you have it and I don't know what else I can show you um, there it is and as uh, far as I'm concerned the jig works nice uh, uh, better than I expected. Uh, well, I expected it to work very well, but it, it works better than that. And so, uh, good luck, and I hope you use it. And if you do, uh, let me know. Uh, you can go to my website, twistednotwoodshop.com, and there's a whole bunch of stuff on there you can look at. Uh, and talk to you later. Bye.